Hey guys, it's Ren. We're back with Pyrite Heart, and this time we're going to be uh, pursuing our darling servant boy Kenta here. I've got my tea, and we're all good to go. Let's get started. That's an impossible riddle. You're not even trying anymore. That's right. You win again. Even though he's the crown prince, my brother Kichiro doesn't often win in word games with me. Nobody does. Of course! You say that like there was any other possible outcome. There always is, Ari. As if. Kichiro sighs and shakes his head at me in disappointment. Sister, there's more to life than just winning every competition you dream up. I know that. There's also failing. In case you haven't noticed, that's not something I do. Ari, you only win because there's nobody here to challenge you. You wouldn't survive outside the palace walls for one week. That sounds like a challenge to me. You're on. What? The idea is so brilliant, I'm surprised I didn't think of it first. For the last 17 years, the only challenges I've been presented have been instructors, servants, and grumpy Kijiro. You say I can't survive outside the walls? I say I can. So here is the contest. For one week, I'll attend a normal, average high school. If I come home crying about it, you win. If I don't, I win. You have to be joking me. Backing out? Maybe it's my charming smile or the lore of a contest he foolishly thinks he can win. But Kichiro relents and hangs his head. If it wasn't for me thinking that you need this, I wouldn't even consider accepting it. I'll talk with Father and see to setting it up. And remember, Kichiro, it has to be completely normal. No sending spies or influencing the locals, that's cheating. If I did something like that, you wouldn't learn the lesson you so desperately need. She does, she, desperate, she desperately needs this lesson, oh my god. What a brat, I love her. And what's that? What could there possibly be that I don't know? You'll see. And see she will. Pyrite Heart. My name is Ari Ramono, the cute and talented daughter of Emperor Ramono. Today is my first day at a public school as a regular peasant. Father nearly had a heart attack when he heard that I wanted to be educated for a week on the outside, but Kichiro managed to convince him. I guess that's why they call him the diplomatic one. I'm content to simply be the brilliant one. There's something nice about walking to school in such pleasant weather. Father always had the instructors brought to me. I'd spent hours in that stuffy room with those crotchety old professors. The only breaks I'd get from the dull room would be when I'd go outside for physical training. Being able to play outside with the servants and my coaches was the best part of the day. I clutch my book bag against my chest tightly. This is going to be so much fun. All those hours of cramming are going to pay off when I show those commoners what I'm made of. <laughs> I was so confused the first time around when I was playing this, but oh my god, I love this stupid child. Secretly, I loved studying and spending my time learning new things. You never know when that knowledge will give you the edge. Please introduce yourself to the class. I'm Ari Ramono. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I get a mumbled response from the class. They seem more interested in staring out the window and chatting amongst themselves than recognizing me. Only one person in the class of 20 shows any sort of serious interest. There's an open seat next to Ryu. Please have a seat. If you have any questions, Ryu is the class president and can help you with any problems you may have. The only open seat is next to the boy with those sharp blue eyes that seem to bore into my soul. President, huh? He's the first person I need to knock off their throne. God, what is wrong with you? Hi, I'm Ari. I heard. So you're the president. You're the best the school has to offer? So they tell me. Do you have a problem with that? 
Hi, Ryu, we touched your butt last time. Hey, Ryu, hey, Ryu, hey, 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 we touched your butt. The cold response isn't what I was expecting. The icy glare in his eyes would have me backpedaling if I were more cowardly. This is perfect. Yeah, I do. This is so awesome. All those heroes from the old westerns I saw always used that line. Everyone draws their six their, their six shooters, and the duel begins. Good for you. Did he, did he just ignore my challenge? I didn't think I'd identify the arch villain of my adventures so early. I'm the smartest person you are ever going to meet. I'm the best and brightest this world has to offer. Good for you. Your title as the best of this school will be mine before the week's end. What do you think of that, Mr. President? You're welcome to try. If you have any problems or questions about this school, Miss Genius, let me know. Like I do that. God, every time, every time, Ryu, every time, every time that Ryu pops up, I always am just, they really, they really drew the bulge on that kid, didn't they? <laughs> Good God. Why doesn't he rise to my challenge? Does he think he can hold me back with his skills alone? That's stupid. Before we start today's algebra lesson, we're going to have a pop quiz. Ari, you don't. I want to take it! The rest of the plebs in the class- God, I forgot she used that word. The rest of the plebs in the class are looking at me like I'm crazy. But this is my first chance to overthrow their leader. I've got to take it. Ryu gives me a quizzical look but goes back to clearing the books off his desk without a word. That's right, I'm challenging you. Ten minutes later, I've crushed that pathetic test. Seriously, this is easy. Seeing others struggle with it only brings more affirmation of my brilliance. Except for Ryu, who finished a whole 15 seconds. I love that she counted. A whole 15 seconds after I did, Nobody even came close to touching me. Take that, brother. You all did well, but only one of you managed to score a perfect on this exam. There's no surprise on that one. Of course not. The teacher walks back, handing tests to students as she passes. When she gets to me, she stops with a bright smile on her face. A perfect score. You did remarkably well. Thank Ryu. <laughs> Way to lead me on, fucker. Wh what? And did very well, too, Ari. A 95 without studying the material is quite impressive. Yeah, fuck off. She takes my stunned look as one of shy acceptance and continues delivering the tests. May I please see your test? Yep, yep, there it is. Mm, boop. See what you did here? You accidentally carried the one to the wrong row. If you had slowed down and double-checked your work, you would have had a perfect. Shut up! I'm just trying to help. I don't want your help. Just because you won this round doesn't mean I lost yet. This isn't a contest. His smug attitude isn't going to sway me that easily. I will dethrone this monster and put myself at the top. This is my new life mission. Leave me alone. If that's what you wish. I lost because of a foolish mistake on my part. No, Ryu, this is not over. Not by a long shot. Class moves by quickly. My hopes for another attempt at dethroning Ryu are dashed. But I do get several attempts to flaunt my brilliance by answering several questions correctly for the teacher. Ryu seems content for now to let me have my way with the class. His warm smile as I answer question after question doesn't waver. This will be his foolish mistake. Soon, his class will be mine. I'm a little sorry that he had to be the one I must overtake. He's smart and his light brown hair gives him a sharp look. I don't know what the fuck you meant by that. I don't know what you were trying to say there. I have no comment, because I just don't know what that was supposed to be. He'd have made a great minion. 
I glance up at the clock, seeing the hands finally bring about lunchtime. I could use a minion right now. I had to buy my lunch from a convenience store. Back at the Imperial Palace, a team of the finest chefs would make me three meals a day. I close my eyes and pretend that the dry turkey sandwich is a full five-course meal of the best curry in India. Hi, Ari, would you? I don't deal with peasants. What? Shoo! The group of giggling schoolgirls quickly dissipates. Why would someone of my caliber waste their time with the riffraff? God, Ari. For a moment, I miss Kenta, my dedicated servant. That cheery guy with the fluffy blonde hair always has something good to share when we're away from the castle. How often do you even leave the castle? Because I'm under the impression that it was never. <laughs> I push him out of my mind. No, I'm here on my own. Good food or not, I have to make do entirely on my own or I'll lose to Kichiro. At least my store-bought sandwich smells better than whatever Ryu has. A smell of rotten eggs has wafted over from his desk ever since the lunch hour began. I'll bet he's an awful cook. Only someone with no skills in the kitchen could make something that smells so putrid. Wait, that's it. I get the feeling we may be a little too evenly paired in math and history to ensure a sound victory. But Ryu can't cook to save himself, neither can you. I flip through the schedule and see that we do have a home economics class in the second part of the day. I have a sure win here. Are we sure about that? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Ryu! Would you like some of my curry? God, this boy is a little too nice for his own good sometimes. <laughs> uh, he was a nice kid. I liked him. No, you can keep that foul concoction. I hereby challenge you to a cook-off. Excuse me? You heard me. On Friday, you and me are going to have a cook-off in Homek. For a moment, he looks like he's going to refuse my challenge again. Do you have a theme and wager already in mind? Got him. Of course I do. The theme will be cakes. If I make a cake that the class likes more than yours, you have to step down as president and name me your successor. That's not how it works. <laughs> It doesn't work that way. Backing out already, coward? If you lose, you have to do one favor for me. Nothing perverted or anything of the sort, but a favor of my choosing. You have no chance at all of winning, so I'll accept your condition. Then we shake on it. I take his large, smooth hands in mine and grip them tightly. Deal. Ryu radiates confidence, and I'm perfectly happy with that. I like my rivals to have a little fire in them. So few people in the castle ever had that aura of competitiveness. They just accepted their inevitable defeat. That's because you're the princess. They're not gonna go against royalty. I look forward to it. I hope you don't bring that goop to the fight. It smells atrocious. It's a spicy scallion and tomato mix I've been working on. Would you like to try some? Trying to poison me before the contest? I didn't think a president would be so devilish. I don't think I'll have to resort to using such tactics. Your confidence will be your undoing. I could say the same to you. I fight back a giggle. Maybe I underestimated him. Ryu could be a genuine opponent. Lunch is ending. I'll see you later, Ari. Until we meet again, my nemesis. Victory will be mine. Victory may not be mine. For the first time in my life, I've scored less than a 90% on something. I almost failed. How was I supposed to know what temperature you had to store milk at? Like that's something hard. <laughs> Oh god, you are fucked. You are fucked up the ass by danger, child. I glance at the small bandage they had to give me when I almost cut my right pinky off. I've been there. I have been there. Not with cooking, but I've been there. My pudding mix in that class was ruined long before the blood got it. Jesus Christ. 
My lab partner was some snobby girl with short black hair who wouldn't shut up no matter how much I told her I knew what I was doing. She kept sighing and trying to force me out of the way. Maybe you didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> There's no way some peasant could have done a better job than I, but... Seeing Ryu in the corner wasn't reassuring either. He strode around that classroom with that aura of unparalleled confidence. I refused to try it, but Miss Snobby said it was delicious. I may have finally met a real match. Yet, for some reason, I'm greatly annoyed by this! I can't focus right now. Snap out of it, Ari. If you lose your head now, you'll be done for long before Friday. You just need to get your head in the books and set up a plan. Yeah, Ari, get your head in the game. Come on. Gym class is the final class of the day, which is a welcome break after my horrid afternoon. Gym gives me a chance to release my stress with a little physical exercise. And I'm one of the best basketball players in the world, of course. Uh-huh, uh-huh. While teaching those plebs a lesson on how to shoot would be a worthwhile endeavor, I grab a ball and take a hoop by myself. I need time to think. Okay, I think to myself as I take my first free throw shot. I've met my enemy today. He is both skilled and smart. This is his territory and a skill that is not my best. By a long shot, not your best. The ball swishes without touching the rim. That's what I need to do. A flawless shot at Ryu. It'll be a three-layer cake with strawberry frosting from the far reaches of the world. It'll be the most delicious thing that he'll have ever tasted. My cake will be so awesome that I'll be lauded from Paris to San Francisco as the queen of baking. All I need to do is look up a good recipe and it'll be all mine. I toss up my ball again, nailing another free throw. Seeing this successful shot brings strength to my conviction. I can do this. I wonder what crazy request Ryu thinks he'll be able to get out of me. He promised it wouldn't be anything perverted, so it'll most likely be something petty like money. Hey, watch out! It takes me a moment to realize that the voice is calling out to me. By the time I turn around, a rogue basketball is hurtling towards my face. Yeah! And she's down. Ow! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! Are you okay? That hurt, you idiot! Oh! My lady, I'm so sorry. Forgive your humble servant. Huh? How did you know who I am? I beg your forgiveness. I was not expecting to lose control of the ball. Wait, Kenta! Dropping to his knee, my loyal butler is prostrating himself before me. Normally, I'd say this is far from enough for hitting me with a flying ball, but- Get up! You're going to blow my cover! My lady? No my lady stuff here. Get on your feet before someone sees you. What are you doing here? He stands back up and gives me a sheepish grin. My lord sent me to keep an eye on you, my lady. It's Ari! Please forgive me. A Ari? No, no forgiveness! I ordered you and all the servants not to come with! Your brother didn't think it was very smart, so he wanted me to stick nearby and make sure you didn't get into trouble. I'm not going to get into trouble. That's not what I've heard. Rumor has it that the snobby new girl's picking a fight with the school adult. Nobody's picking a fight with me. I, I think they were calling you the snobby one, Ari. Those low-life plebs, how dare they! <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, you're not joking around. Nope, no she's not. <laughs> Please forgive me, my lady. Ari! I'd scold most servants who dare speak to me that way, but Kenta has been with me since I was barely able to walk. I decide to let him off with a light wrap to the side of the head. Sorry. You'd better be. So it's true, right? You challenge Ryu? So? You've never cooked a day in your laugh. So? <laughs> Is your plan to give Ryu food poisoning? That didn't work out well when you used it on Lord Darius. That was an accident. I have this contest won, you idiot. If you need help, Ari, I can... I don't want your help. I want you and your sarcasm to go back to the palace. I can't. You will. The bell rings, bringing an abrupt end to the conversation. 
Kenta the imp bolts off before I can continue any further. See ya, Ari. You can ask me for help anytime you need it. Just go home! He makes me so angry. I don't need his help. I need him to go away and not blow my cover. If anyone found out who I was, the suck-ups and manipulators would come flying out of the woodwork. My blood is boiling so hot I can barely stand it. Between Ryu and Kenta, I'm going to end up having a heart attack from all this rage. I really want to stay around and play some basketball. Maybe see if they have a softball field to bat some balls. But Kenta hasn't bothered leaving yet. He's still practicing with some of the guys from my class. I'm not surprised he's already made friends with them. Kenta has that light-hearted charm that tends to get past the, 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 the defenses of the heart. I guess I could stay for a bit longer and get a few more shots in. No, no, we're not going home. That's the Ryu route. We're gonna stay and play some b-ball. Stay and just go. Do what I tell you! If he's stuck over there, he's out of sight and out of mind. I can still have some fun. What sort of drills should I run today? I'll just start with some basic shooting drills. Eight shots as quickly as I can from around the two-point area. My first shot is perfect. Perfect form, perfect results. The second shot, while a tad bit sloppier than the first, barely touches the rim as it goes in. As I release the third one, I know I've screwed up. My release was almost a full second past the optimal point. As I expect, it catches the rim and goes flying away. Interesting, so she actually is really good at it in like a calculating sort of way. Huh. Cool. I dart forward to grab it before it bounds into the other courts and some pleb tries to steal it from me. Unfortunately, it brings me face to face with the game I'm trying to pretend doesn't exist. Oh, he's so dreamy! Kenta has the ball. Sweat glistens on his tan skin as he nimbly darts through the defenders. Good God. His footwork is precise and deft. Years of training with me having paid off. He really did pay attention to the lessons I gave him. I'm impressed for a moment. Having a competent servant is always something to be proud of. A glint of excitement flashes through those sparkling amethyst eyes. He's seen what I saw. A perfect chance for the score. His blinding speed and agility let him dodge through the lesser players. With a mighty jump, he leaps up and releases the shot. Perfect. I'm having too much fun with this. The game ends shortly, with Kenta being the victor. He was good. Not as good as me, but I can tell he paid attention in lessons. Kenta flashes me a victorious grin and comes over. Ari, did you see me win? I saw you almost miss the shot. You liked it, huh? I most certainly did not. It was inefficient. <laughs> Baka. I'm glad you enjoyed watching me play. I'm not glad to watch you do anything, Kenta. I told you to go home. And I told you that His Highness told me I had to keep my eyes on you, Ari. Kenta flashes a sterling smile and winks. His charms have helped us to get out of trouble in the past, but I'm not going to allow them to work on me. I've been your subordinate for years. You aren't trying to tell me to abandon you in your greatest challenge, are you? That's exactly what I'm saying. Go away! Kenta, thankfully, starts to walk towards the door. I think I'm almost rid of the menace when he grabs the ball and starts dribbling towards me. Aw. Let's settle this with a game of horse. If I win, I get to stay by your side and help you beat Ryu. If I lose, I'll go home and accept my punishment from Crown Prince Kichiro. He knows how to handle her. Good boy. Why would I accept such a stupid challenge? Oh, are you chicken? I am not a chicken. Bok, 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 bok. I'll make you pay for that, Kenta. Give me the ball. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a sucker. I'm totally a sucker for the childhood friend romances. <laughs> Uh, I am so into this. Horse, an easy to understand game where we have to make the shots that the other player makes. Oh, I, I, I remember this. I haven't played basketball since I was in 
high school, I think, was the last time. <laughs> it's been a while. I started off with a trick shot that Kenta can't duplicate from the outside of the court. Nice. You're going down, Kenta. Don't count me out on the first letter. Back and forth and back and forth. Either I'm getting sloppy, or Kenta has been hiding talent. He's probably been hiding talent. Probably. He's probably been letting you in because you're friends and he likes you. But he manages to keep up with me, even scoring H-O-R-S on me. He's got the ball again and drops a simple shot from the free throw line. I step up ready to duplicate it. Oh shit! When I feel Kenta's breath on the nape of my neck, the scent of lavender shampoo mingles with the sharp tang of sweat in my nose. What are you doing? Just watching. Uh-huh, uh-huh. By hovering over my shoulder? Does that bother you? No. Baka. But it does. I keep glancing over my shoulder to see what my servant is doing. Nothing every time I glance back. But I know he's going to do something to thwart me. I don't know, I don't know, Ari. I think it's psychological warfare. I'm used to being with Kenta, but there's something unnerving with him so close to me. Focus. Focus. Shoot! Nope. Nice try. You cheated! And miss. I did nothing to interfere with your shot. Fine, you still have to make it again. Let's see how you like me hovering over you. He probably likes it quite a lot. I like being close to you. Yep, that's what I thought. Even though I might as well be glued to him, Kanta sinks the easy shot without a single moment of hesitation. I lost to Kanta. Looks like I'm going to have to stay and help you. As much as this upsets me, I'm a little... Just a little glad that I have a competent helper to help me with something I've never done before. Fine. You win. You better have some fucking amazing cooking skills, Kenta. Nope. Ah! Damn it. Kenta, not you too. What use are you? <sighs> this game is bad for my heart. We'll learn together. I've got practice with the team tomorrow, so let's meet up on Wednesday at the library. You've been here a day, and you're already on the basketball team? You should totally join as well. No! That's too bad. I'm heading home to get cleaned up. See ya, Ari. It is still a victory even if Kenta helps me. <laughs>